You said in the House of Commons this afternoon that coronavirus is in retreat across the land. I was wondering if you could spell out why in more detail you felt confident enough to say that, given there is obviously always the possibility of a second spike. Uh, thank you very much, Hugh. Um, I, I think it's important to look at all the figures and all of the information and all of the scientific advice. And the good news is that whilst this is clearly uh, not over, there is progress on all of those statistics. Um, the, the figures on the number of people who died do tend to be lower at the weekend, uh, but were 55 yesterday um, across the, the country as a whole, and as I said, zero in Scotland and in London hospitals. Um, and the number of new infections is down to just over 1,200 uh, recorded by positive tests, which is the lowest that we've seen uh, for several months now. Uh, in care homes, the latest weekly figures show an almost 50% fall in the number of new uh, care homes reporting an outbreak compared to the week before. Um, and if you look at the total number of excess deaths compared to uh, what uh, the no number of people who normally uh, die at this time of year across the country, um, that has come right down as well. So when you look across the board, it is clear that coronavirus is in retreat across the country, but we must be vigilant and we must be cautious and we are taking a safety first approach. It means that we can proceed with our plan of making some changes, uh, for instance, uh, looking towards the proposals that have been made next week on uh, the retail sector and that people can have confidence to take their children to school in the three years that we've opened so far. Um, and um, I, 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 those are carefully and safely calibrated to be able to make steps out of lockdown without having an undue positive impact. But we keep all of these things under review.